This is Neom, the Lion, Trojina, Sindala, and Oxagon, Saudi Arabia's grand vision for the future. It aims to be an advanced, sustainable, and futuristic megacity unlike any other. In October 2022, many trailers and videos about the start of its construction reached millions of people around the world, but it's hard to find updates on its current progress. So, what exactly has been going on? And how much, if any, have they already built? Here is the construction update of the line. The line, which was first revealed by Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman back in 2021, is by far the most ambitious megaproject in the country to date. It's supposed to be a self-sustaining linear city that would stretch more than 100 kilometers from the Red Sea up to about the city of Tabuk to the east. The city's design includes two 500-meter tall structures that would run in a parallel way. The vision is that everything you need is within walking distance, and the entire city will have zero cars, zero roads, and emit zero emissions. Of course, after the release of drone footage showcasing excavation work in October 2022 heightened curiosity. However, since then, thorough updates of the project's development on-site have not been provided much known. So, what does the line look like today? The most recent information indicates that an extensive amount of work has been done on the line for the last two years. In a recent exclusive interview from the project's executive director, it was revealed that construction of the vital infrastructure is estimated to be 20% complete. This includes important roads, offices, and logistics hubs necessary for future work on the site. All of these advancements are visible via satellite images surrounding the entire project's length. And compared with pictures that we have shown from last year, there have been many substantial changes to these sites. For example, the Neom Community 1 now looks and functions like a complete city of its own, fully completed with hundreds of apartments, a post office, a school, a mosque, convenience stores, and a bus station. There's even a Starbucks in the community. Meanwhile, Excavation work on the coastal section known as the Hidden Marina is also well underway. Once completed, this section of the project would become the single largest marina in the entire world. It would be capable of hosting up to twice the size of even the world's largest cruise ship. Currently, work on the Hidden Marina is considered to be the largest worldwide excavation project. They're digging up to 1 million cubic meters of earth each week to make way for the construction. And also, the line's dedicated underground rail system, known as the Spine, has also experienced substantial changes. The length of the underground tunnel has been reduced. There are now just nine stations instead of 48, and the route has been shortened by more than 30 kilometers. In addition, Italian contractor we built and Saudi's own Sajco have recently been awarded the contract to build a high-speed rail line that will connect the line to Oxagon. We now take a look at progress on the next major development, which is Troyana. A wide desert surrounded by mountains is home to an insanely luxurious winter destination for skiing and winter sports. In fact, Saudi Arabia has only six years to finish construction due to the Asian Winter Games in 2029 that are scheduled. After a successful bid in 2022, the kingdom was granted the honor of hosting the famous event. The Crown Prince initially revealed the project in 2022, only a few months before the country's successful bid for the Winter Games. Troyana is situated within one of the country's highest mountain ranges. Ever since the project was first unveiled to the public, there has been some steady progress towards its construction. Over the past year, much of the work done on Troyana is the actual excavation process around the mountains to make way for its many developments. In order to create a massive artificial lake in the project's center, 1.6 million cubic meters of material have already been excavated on the site. Additionally, one of the largest luxury hospitality and lifestyle brands in the world, Innes Moore, signed a partnership with Troyana. They aim to build two of their luxury hotels within the project's upcoming ski village. Construction work is progressing rapidly. Saudi Arabia seems to be committed to their very short 2029 timeline, but to have enough snow for a functioning ski resort, this project would have to rely solely on artificial snow machines, which require a lot of water and electricity to operate. And now the next major project is Sindala. A futuristic megacity is set to open its first destination in 2024. 
This destination will feature a world-class yachting area, designed by an Italian designer. Three mega-luxury hotels, a golf course, numerous restaurants, and an upscale retail area. When observing its development status, one can observe that certain structures are approaching the final stages of construction, and the foundational layoff for most buildings has already been determined. Even for the workforce of Avsindala, a dedicated community has already been established, equipped with amenities such as offices, logistics hubs, and housing units. The success of Sindala is crucial not only for the island itself, but for the entire Neom project because it will serve as the first public opportunity to experience Neom, functioning as a gateway to the Red Sea and a world-class superyachting destination. Finally, the fourth major project within Neom is Oxagon, a floating industrial port city by the kingdom's west coast. To give a brief background, Oxagon is supposed to be the business and industrial heart of Neom, the future megacity's main industrial and logistics hub. With an investment of $2 billion, Saudi Arabia hopes to open the port's first terminal by 2025. But aside from industry, Oxagon will also serve as its own thriving city complete with dedicated residential, entertainment, leisure, and tourist districts. All these developments are set to open sometime between 2025 and 2026 as the city's very first residential community. Despite the lack of actual news surrounding the construction, there has only been limited work done on the project. Looking at satellite images of the site, this is the only NIM project where construction has progressed the least. Looking at everything that has already been constructed, Saudi Arabia seems to be quite serious about turning their trailers into reality. Well, we come to end of this video. If you enjoy the video, please like and subscribe.